Rachel was not his first victim, and it's my understanding that this suspect, this monster, fled to the United States illegally after committing the brutal murder of a young woman in El Salvador a month early in January of 2023. Once in our country, and likely emboldened by his anonymity, he brutally attacked a nine-year-old girl and her mother during a home invasion in March of 2023 in Los Angeles. And as everyone I believe is aware, that was our first DNA match linking Rachel's case to the Los Angeles case. It has been a fear of mine that once we identified this suspect, the result would be exactly this. And I want to now direct these comments to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and to every member in both chambers of Congress. We are 1,800 miles away here in Hartford County. We are 1,800 miles away from the southern border, and the American citizens are not safe because of failed immigration policies. This is the second time in just two years that an innocent Hartford County woman has lost her life to a criminal in our country illegally. Let me repeat that. 1,800 miles from the southern border, and this is the second woman in our county to be killed by an illegal alien. Suspects, uh, in, in both cases, they are suspects from El Salvador with ties to criminal gangs. Should not be happening. Victor Hernandez did not come here to make a better life for himself or for his family. He came here to escape the crime he committed in El Salvador. He came here and murdered Rachel, and God willing, no one else. But that should have never been allowed to happen. 